Welcome to the lecture series on real analysis. In this lecture, we are going to define something very very useful in the context of topology and in the context context of real analysis. That is metric spaces. Okay. Uh, in order to define a metric space, we need any set. Okay. Any set means any non-empty set is the base one we have. Okay. Then we are going to define a mapping D from x cross x to the set of positive sorry non-negative real numbers okay we are going to define a mapping like this and this mapping is called as distance function or metric okay this is called as distance functions or metric and this has to satisfy certain conditions the first one is d of x comma y is non-negative okay and this is true for all x y in x and along with this we have one more thing that is d of x comma y is zero if and only if x and y are same okay this condition is known as non-negativity the second condition is d of x comma y is same as that of d of yx and this condition is known as symmetry okay and the third is triangle inequality that is d of xy is smaller than or equals d of x comma z plus d of z comma y and this is true for all z in x okay as I told you, this is called as triangle inequality. If a mapping defined from x cross x to the set of non-negative real numbers satisfying these conditions is known as metric or distance function. Okay, then the set x along with this metric is called as metric space. Okay. Here, I would like to register one more thing. What happens uh, here? Actually, we have uh, four conditions, uh, three conditions, four conditions, but is clubbed into three conditions. In the first condition, we have two things. Generally, it has to be a non negative, and if it is zero, that must imply x and y are same, and x and y are same implies this is zero. Okay? Here, whenever you take x and y are same that will give you your distance is zero okay this is is this true always no right uh, this may not be the case in some of the situations okay apart from this all other things will be satisfied in that case only if we relax this condition okay that is even if we relax this condition means what i am trying to say here is we will have x and y are same in place the distance is zero but the distance is zero need not imply x and y are same if this is so then we call this metric to be okay this kind of function to be semi-metric or pseudo-metric Okay, in the upcoming videos, let us see the examples for all kind of metrics. That is the general metric and the semi-metric as well. 